Hey, it is the Headset Historian. So very quick video here. I just wanted to show you what the Pimax Crystal standalone mode looks like. So just to note, I'm recording this through Android debug tool. So you're going to see some barrel distortion and stuff. There's not actually a built-in screen recorder within the Pimax Crystal. So when I record this video, I get both eyes and then I have to just crop it out. So that's it's not going to be ideal you're going to see a bit of distortion but just know that it actually looks better in headset so first thing you will see here is this is actually the gray the gray scale pass through of the pimax crystal again this looks better in the actual headset it's not as good as quest 2 um it's a bit there's a bit of latency and it's not quite as high resolution which i know the quest 2 isn't High resolution already but it is good enough for you know grabbing something in the room or just seeing where you are you then have these two modes here the boundary mode you have a quick mode or a custom mode so you know quick modes just a fixed boundary around you and custom as you draw out the room as far as I could tell this custom mode doesn't save uh, every time I start the headset this screen pops up so you have to set the boundary every time so that's pretty frustrating that's so hopefully something they'll address in the future um yeah so in this video i set the quick mode you can see the ground is set in a similar way to other headsets where you just put the controller you can set standing or sitting and then you you know put the controller on the ground to set the floor height it is a bit weird when you move back up it looks like the boundary moves up with you but the controller height is actually correct or like the ground height is correct so it's a bit of a kind of a visual um mismatch so then here we're into the main menu or into the main home screen um you'll see a few games here from the shop and stuff and um there's i think there's only about 12 standalone apps at the moment and then if you i go into the library here and there's some of the games that i own and then here's also uh some gay apps have side loaded so i'm just launching steam link now so i'm putting the controllers in the ground so i'm just using a a controller plugged into my computer at the moment so you'll see steam link pops up just fine and then i have to grab the controller and well you need to click on start playing using the pimax controller and then once it's connected to the computer i'll just be using my gamepad which is physically plugged into the computer i'm sure there's a way to do it wirelessly i just haven't looked into it yet or figured it out so i'm surprised at how well steam links works audio comes through just fine there's no audio in this video because there's no way to record audio with the way i was recording this video but here i'm just launching Baldur's gate 3 and giving it a go so there's no noticeable latency you know it's it's steam link as you'd expect steam link to work so depending on how well steam link works on your tv or whatever other applications or devices you use steam link with you can expect similar performance by the looks of it there's unfortunately no way to resize this screen so what you can do is the screen is fixed in space so you can just set the screen and then just physically move closer to it <laughs> to resize it it's not ideal but it's a solution for now and here yeah this is just i'm just uh launching Baldur's gate here just to see it's just the first game in my list but yeah, it works quite well. You'll notice like chromatic aberration and stuff here, but again, that's not actually present in the headset. It's just in the recording. And there's also some screen tearing and stuff, but that's again, just an artifact of the recording. And that's it. That's, uh, I just want to show that off quickly. Steam Link works better than I expected. So for some use cases, like, um, you know, perhaps a Steam Deck or something like that, it might be pretty nice to have a uh, way to bring up your screen on the crystal so you can use it in standalone mode as a sort of you know um monitor replacement and um, there's you know there are other options but there's no there's no apps like immersed or virtual desktop on the crystal so this is probably the easiest way to do it through standalone mode of course you always could do it by plugging the crystal in as a normal headset like a normal PC VR headset, but if you're using a Steam Deck or if you're using a, you know, a gaming laptop, perhaps this might be a good option to do that instead. So yeah, just wanted to share that. I thought it was interesting, and there's not really any footage showing off what the Steam Deck actually look or what the Pimax Crystal actually looks like 
inside the headset um or at least in standalone mode i mean sorry so yeah just wanted to share that thought it was kind of interesting hope you're all having a good day